I've been obsessed with traveling since I was a kid, and I love it. But sometimes after a long day of travel, it feels like somebody has literally sucked the life right out of my face. My good friend Grace is gonna show us how to avoid dull and tired looking skin when we fly. She's also gonna let us in on the secret to killer in-flight touch-ups. Airplane skin is the worst. The key to keeping your skin from looking dull and tired after flight is a hydrating base. Maybelline's Dream Velvet Foundation is great because it's a matte foundation, so it fights shine, covers imperfections, but it also keeps the skin hydrated for 12 hours. You know, when I hear matte, I get a little worried. I like that it fights shine, but I don't want to look rough or chalky, and I can still sometimes get dry spots. Dream Velvet is incredibly unique because it's the first matte foundation that actually hydrates. Its gel whip texture is concentrated with two times more water to keep your skin hydrated and fresh looking, even on a plane. If I'm applying before the flight, how much should I use? For medium coverage, start off with a dime size amount. And be sure to test at least three different Dream Velvet shades on your jawline first, rather than on your hand, and ideally in the daylight. Do you have any application tips? I recommend starting at the center of your forehead and blend downwards and outwards. Starting in the center of your face makes the product look like it's fading out and will prevent too much buildup around the hairline and the jawline. If you're covering larger portions of the face, blend with your index and middle finger. Just make sure that they're clean to prevent any oil transfer. For the ultimate finish, I like to use the Dream Blender. It's an amazing new blending sponge that enhances the velvety look of this new foundation. It doesn't leave the lines and marks that a brush might. You can use a blender sides for quick all over coverage and the tip to get into the tighter areas like around the nose. I love that the handle keeps your hands clean and reduces extra oil on the skin. Also, if you want to really sheer out your coverage, you can wet the blender before applying. So after a long day of travel, are there any tips for quick touch-ups? For sure, Dream Velvet is small enough to pack in your carry-on, and you can use a blender for quick touch-ups at your seat. The blender can act as a buffer to smooth out your foundation and blot excess shine without having to add more product. So what about the longer flights? Correct your puffiness in bags first by using peach tone. This will counteract the blue and prevent your makeup from looking ashy or gray. Use your fourth finger as it applies least amount of pressure and will minimize tugging as the skin here is very sensitive. Then highlight with a concealer or Dream Velvet one shade lighter. For anything longer than 12 hours, just travel with moisturizer on your skin and apply Dream Velvet before landing. Or, you know what, ideally, in the bathroom when you land. Do you have any insider suggestions on how to look alert and ready for anything when you land? A trick that I like to make the eyes look bigger is using two colors of liner. Black on the top and a lighter color on the bottom lash like a white or a beige to make the eyes pop. Using black on the lower lash line will make the eyes look smaller. So finish by highlighting the inner corners of the eye with a light eyeshadow. To add some color into your makeup, you can use a lipstick and then use the same color on your cheeks. It's one less thing you have to carry on. And you know what? A little tip that I have to looking more awake is adding a little bit of a highlight. And that's it. Thanks, Grace. And thanks to Dream Velvet and these tips, you're ready to make it happen on your next trip. And don't forget to check out our other master classes for more tips and tricks that will give you an edge on putting your best face forward. And share your own photos and tips on social with the hashtag DreamVelvet.